We thank God for this year's award. 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 We get more wisdom, we get more knowledge, we get more understanding. 
we get to know uh, exactly what is good and what is bad. Can one, can one of the kids please open to the first lesson and read it? Not the adults this time, because it's our day, so. Kids. Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. I gave you sound learning, so do not forsake my teaching. Listen to my, listen, my sons, to father's instructions. Our father's instructions generally means uh, all our elders, not basically your father, though. We can listen to our teachers, we can listen to our mommies, we can listen to our friends. We can listen to advice from children, we can listen to advice from matron, mommy telling. Getting wisdom leads to getting understanding. Without wisdom and understanding, we can't get knowledge. Without knowledge and understanding, we can't get wisdom. Without wisdom and understanding, we can't get knowledge. Basically, so those lessons teaching us as kids what to do in order for us to gain one solvable lesson in the sense of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And also money, since we all like money here. <laughs> Uh, can you read the third part? Please. The third one. For I too was a son to my father, still tender and cherished by my mother. Continue. Then he taught me and he said to me, Take hold of my words with all your heart. Keep my commands and you will live. If yeah, we can recall, in Exodus 20 verse, I know it's one of the verses there. It says, only thy father and mother, so your days shall be long. Here it's teaching, it's telling us that we have to keep his commandments so we can live. His commandments basically, ten commandments, do not kill, thou shalt not wash, thou shalt any other God except me. Do this, do that, which is leaving us once entire life. Uh, an example of guessing wisdom or knowing wisdom is, for example, let's say uh, John and uh, yeah, let's say Shola, for example, since it's not here. Yeah. Anyways, John and Shola are arguing over uh, sweets and what's called daddy, for example, one of our dads is the one that like, oh, Shola, take this. Take this because you're the old one. I don't, honestly, like, not to put you out of the I don't think that's the right way to do it. Like if you're an adult and you exactly and you know exactly what to do, you can say, oh sure I'll take this seat to you. John, take money to go buy another one. That's wisdom because if you don't do it that way, you make one person hate another person, or one person to be jealous. So why not do it equally? You know? Like verse five says, get wisdom, get understanding, and do not forget my words or swear from them. Verse 6 says, if you forget, if you forsake wisdom, it basically says, do not forsake wisdom and she'll protect you. If you're wise in everything you're doing, if you're really like, wise in the sense of you know what's good and right, you know what's good and bad, you know you know uh, what to do and what not to do, you know exactly what to do in that moment. Don't forsake it. We don't think much about so let's just go to uh, the second lesson. Math, uh, Matthew 9, verse 1 to 6, I guess. It's all you get. Sorry, Matthew 18. Yeah, Matthew 18. At that time, the disciples called, came to Jesus and asked, uh -huh. Who then is the greatest of kingdom of heaven? And he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest of the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child is my name welcomes him. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to, to have a large milestone around their neck. And uh -huh. 